All right. So we're going back to Sunrise. Let's see what's in the announcement. Interchange for the Climber Express, right? The Metro Diagonally Line. Yep, that's the high speed. Ancient City Shuttle and Peak Tram. We've got to check those out. All right. So through the gates. Oh, I didn't pay again. So that's another $500. Oh, what's here? Oh, light rail platforms. Wow. I didn't know there's light rail here. Peak tram, ancient city shuttle. Which one should we check out first? Let's go here. Camping cave. Ooh. This exits out to here. Cool. Peak. Uh, someone else made the Peak Tram, Hong Kong Peak Tram model, so I'm pretty excited to see that actually in the game. So again, if you want to download these, please go check out the Discord. They're all there. Hmm, where am I going? There's like no signs here. Is it this platform? Are there even trains running? Oh, this is the light rail platform which has nothing in it right now. So maybe I went the wrong way. Maybe it's supposed to be that side. What is here? I guess that's the other light rail platform. Maybe it's not in service yet. But I do really like the structure of the station though. We've got lots of raised passageways, but a big opening in the, in the middle. Okay, so this lift goes up, but there's no signs indicating what's up here. So my guess is still... This is still work in progress. Okay, so we just came out there. And then that's the cave, the camping cave down here. Right? Okay, doesn't matter. We'll check that out another time. Maybe it's like not... Or maybe I went the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I did go the wrong way. That was just the cave exit. So this side, Nether Peak. It's where the peak tram is. Okay, so these are just exits, so I don't think we need to go through each exit to look at them. But I do want to check out the peak tram. Ah, there it is. Look at that. Better remember to pay. Wow. This is a big display sign, though. Wow, this, this is like real throwback right here. I haven't been on the peak tram since I was like really young and I'm really happy to see this in Minecraft. This really brings back a lot of memories, especially since these trains are now retired in Hong Kong. The new ones are green, I think. So they have transparent windows. We can't really tell right now. I wonder why they didn't make the interior of the peak tram marked as interior though. Does this keep going? Hmm. Yeah, it keeps going. This station is hill bottom something. Hill bottom ruin portal. And then it goes to nether peak. Wow. Yeah, look, you can see out the windows at the top. You can see out the front. Usually there's a driver sitting here, but these are driverless in the mod. The displays are huge. <laughs> That's still funny to me. The peak tram ride is quite bumpy. Should be better if we use the new NTE feature. Yeah. So what that is, is that it will smooth out some of these curves because you can choose how the rail will slope instead of just always being flat at the nodes. So that would be a really great improvement. I am also working on the new backend of the mod, which will integrate that into the functionality as well. Integrate the NTE functionality. So yeah, this is just spiraling up the hill right now, it seems like. Whoa, did someone convert this to nether? That's why it's called nether mountain or something. 
Scarlet Mountains. Is this intentional? Okay. Well, anyway, let's go out and check it out. Alright. Yeah, this train goes back to Sunrise. Lots of redstone here. Maybe they just did world edit replacing with the blocks on the mountain. But either case, this is really cool. I enjoy the peak tram ride. I'm going to jump back on. Looks like there's some Z fighting here on this display. But doesn't matter. I do really enjoy this ride still. So we're going to go back down past the portal station in the peak tram in Hong Kong. There are some intermediate stops. I never knew how it worked because I was too young back then, and I never really looked into it. I think you have to request a stop because the train just doesn't automatically stop there. The train will just go from Hong Kong, like central, directly to the peak without stopping at the intermediate station. So if you want to stop, I guess you have to tell the driver, and then you'll be like the only person getting off and everyone's looking at you. <laughs> I remember when I took the peak tram, the train stopped and the doors opened and I was like, oh, what are people doing? Are these like stops only for like maintenance people? Because I it didn't look like a big station, so I was kind of confused. Look, there's the other train coming the other way. It's always cool to see the train pass by the other way. Alright, we're arriving at this station. I forgot what it's called. It's called Hill Bottom Ruin Portal. All right, and then the next station is back to Sunrise. Now this part of the tram goes underground. I think there's a little portion of the peak tram in Hong Kong that it goes underground before pulling into the station in Central. But it's not this long, I think it's just a little bit. But I could be wrong, because it's been years since I've taken it. I think mainly it's because it's so expensive that I would usually just take the bus instead. Alright, that was a really good ride. Make sure to exit. And now, let's see where we should go. Yeah, I want to check out the Ancient City Shuttle. So let's head over that way, back that side. Where is it? Ah, this way. 30 seconds. Let's see if I can make the train. Wow. This goes down deep. I wonder what's in here. This is like deep slate level. Or maybe this artificial. No, it is deep slate level. Whoa, look at that. That's also, uh... What is this stuff? Shulk... Skulk. Not shulker box. Skulk stuff. Ooh. This is an APM. An APM retextured with the purple. Nice. Okay. I really like this. The carpet. <laughs> I know the, the original train also had the carpet texture. And I like the detail because it looks like a crisscross. Where the carpet goes this direction and the horizontal direction. Okay, anyway. I'm excited to see where this takes us. Oh, if it actually goes to a Minecraft ancient city, that would be really, really cool. I've actually never seen one before, I don't think, in-game. Maybe once in survival, but I was too scared to go check it out. I saw some skulk, and I got scared, and I ran back out of the cave. <laughs> I don't think I've kept up with Minecraft updates very much in the past. So in creative mode, it should be half as scary. It shouldn't be half as scary. So let's see. Wow, the station is like situated in the middle of the big cave. Wow, this is like literally out in the middle of everything. So like you could easily walk onto the track. So just be careful. Okay, wow, I've never seen one in Minecraft, so I don't know what I'm looking at. Like, I don't know what these passageways are. I think these are naturally generated. Are there traps? 
I know there's skulk sensors everywhere, which will alert the warden. If you know more about this update, please let me know, because I don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh, this big frame thing, and this the city. It's like I'm seeing all this stuff for the first time, even though I've watched a couple videos about the 1.19 updates. But yeah, never actually seen one with my own eyes before, in-game. Okay. A little bit scary, so let's take the train back. <laughs> Alright, we're back to the main station. I wonder how many trains there are running on this route, if there's only one train shuttling back and forth. I'm not sure. Looking at the headways, I'm guessing maybe there's only one train. But I don't know. So since this video is almost at an hour long, well, at least, oh, there's a food court. At least looking at the timestamp on my side here now, I'm not sure if I should split it into two parts again. This is the food court. Yeah, I'm not sure if, if I should split it into two parts again, just like the last episode of the Let's Play. Do you, do you all like that format? Let me know in the comments. Because I feel like splitting it into two like 30 minute parts will be easier to watch, but maybe that's just me. So I might try doing it again this time. So let me know if you like that format or if you prefer one huge video that's like one and a half hours long or one hour long. Oh, they're using airport express trains mostly. So I guess I got lucky for that. KCR BR423. And if I haven't seen that at spawn, I wouldn't be curious enough to look where that train was going, so. <laughs> that was a good thing. It worked out. Alright, so this train goes back to spawn, and while we're going, let's take a look at the system map to see what else we can look at. So Sunrise is a little bit of a hub, where there's the Sunset Ski Resort, the Peak Tram, and the Ancient City lines. And this high speed goes all the way back down to Spawn. So, I know that there are also a bunch of stuff over here that are new. So I think I should have taken the other line. What was the other line called? Clanmara Express. Yeah, that would probably have allowed me to see more things up here. So the train has just started to pull out of Sunrise, so <laughs> I'm gonna force dismount myself. Out, come back up. Yeah, good thing the dwell time was so long that I had time to change my mind. You couldn't do that in real life though, like if the train has already closed its doors, you can't get out just by shifting. <laughs> but anyway, I want to take this line instead actually, the Clamor Express. So they're using R trains for this. Just a fun fact, when R trains were when R trains entered service, they never used these what are these 2010 style stickers for the doors? They use the bigger please mind the gap stickers with the big circle here. So this was like the 2010 iteration and then later they had a second iteration with the red circles here instead of the black circles for this icon and with the little X instead of the red slash for this, this sign. But now, it's the newer version with the other Please Mind the Gap. Anyway, <laughs> don't know why I'm talking about that. But let's enjoy the ride. I guess there's nothing much to see until the next station. And I've never been on this part of the line before, so it'll be exciting. So it looks like the next station is Diamond Island, and we'll get there in about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So from there, we can head towards 
So the Eifert Express, maybe, or the Callus Express. Head over to Tempest. Tempest, we can backtrack using the Tingli pad or the Tingli light rail. Tingli pad is not running, so we'll have to take from Tempest back past the cable car. I do want to check out this cable car. I think I've seen it once. And this is the Tempest Sky Island thing. So Sky Island cable car. So I think it'd be really cool to take this from the Dry Plains cable car to Diamond North. Hmm, Morning Star sounds pretty cool too. And I haven't seen that. Okay, there's just so many good things to visit. So first, let's get off at Diamond Island. Okay, and then we will take the Eifert Express to Tempest. Wait, how come there are no trains here to Tempest? Callus Express maybe. Oh, does it not even stop at Tempest? Is that what it is? Oh, it does. It's just Gecko Plaza direction. Okay, so it goes past Tempest to Gecko Plaza. So, all right. So I have to take this train to Tempest in 140 or Gecko Plaza in 150. Okay, cool. Will I make it? Yeah, the train will arrive in about 40 seconds. So, <laughs> it's kind of cool to look at the train like this too. You can see it curve and stuff. It's quite satisfying to see. Okay, we're slowing down so we must be approaching the station soon. Okay, I forgot if I've seen the station. I think I have. I've seen the station before. Oh yeah, it's a cross-platform with the Callus Express. How can I forget? I don't know why the frame rate is suddenly lower here though. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's nice that it's cross-platform to Tempest because I'm gonna take advantage of that and just wait here. And the train's coming soon anyway, so there's no point going to the other levels. I think all the station colored blocks might be lagging it up. I don't know. Or maybe it's the signs? What signs are here? Alright, the train is coming and I want to ride first class. I forgot that the Callus Express comes all the way up here from Yanjiang Mineshaft. And it has first class all the way through, <laughs> which is really cool. And you can get these, remember, on Discord. You might have to scroll a bit to find it though. So the first class and normal class are separated by this doorway. And in real life, on the real trains in Hong Kong, there is a processor machine here where you can tap your card to pay the first class surcharge. Then you can walk through the door and come in here. I think the TVs in first class are a bit different though, but I might be wrong. I don't think in, I've ever been on the first class on the trains in Hong Kong. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. So the next station is already Tempest. We'll take the we'll take the Tingli Pad light rail. I feel like I've been to Tempest before. Is the station I think it's the station the outdoor station with the platforms laid out, I think. Oh wait no, maybe I remembered wrong. Maybe that was Eifert station. I don't know. Oh, not this door. Yeah, <laughs> the first class carriages only open the middle door for some reason. I wonder what that second door is for. Maybe for emergency? Okay, I guess this way exit, yeah? So platform to Yanjia Mai Shaft concourse. I want to go to the concourse. 
Why is my frame rate suddenly so low? I think it's all the platform screen doors that lag it up, actually. So that's going to be a code improvement item. <laughs> okay. So, okay, Diamond North. I need that 761. So I better hurry up there before I miss it. Is it this way? Or is it that side? Yes, yeah, that side. Why did the sign take me up here then? And how am I supposed to get over? Oh, here. Ah, okay. I looked at the wrong sign. Whoops. But here, yeah, this side goes to Diamond North. And I sh it's a two car train, so I can stand here. And should be arriving soon. Oh, it's using... This is like a simulation of plastic signs. So back bef back in the old old times, <laughs> when the light rail trains didn't have the LED electronic displays, they used plastic, or was it fabric? I don't know. Where the driver will switch out the signs at the end of the line manually, because it was not electronic. So the number was orange and the destination was white. All right, but they didn't have this, I'm pretty sure. They didn't have the next station display. Jura, just now my computer ran out of memory, so I don't know actually how much how much footage I missed because the recording just ended up by itself. I hope I didn't miss too much. Anyway, the next stop will be the cable car. So I'm going to get off and change to the cable car. Interchange station for the King it's night time. Hopefully we can still see stuff outside. I forgot if I paid when getting on the train or not. No entry record found. Whoops, okay. <laughs> so here we are. Where's the cable car? This way. Make sure to look for trains before crossing. Alright. Wow, the cable car is like right here. Okay, I better tap in. Ooh. I was trying to catch that car. Okay, the next station is Happy Connection Island. I think all these names are actually puns for the Chinese. <laughs> so this, the Chinese of this is pronounced Lun Long Do. When translated directly, it's Happy Connection Island. But it's the same sound as the phrase Lun Long Do, which means can't connect. <laughs> so that's the pun. Oh, you can see the light rail from up here. Really cool. Are we going diagonally? Wow. And we're going up really high in the sky as well. Uh, I hope you're not scared of heights. Oh, there's one more thing I want to show you all. With the new Crystal Plus cable car models. I know they came out a while ago. Wow, did we clip through the rocks? But yeah, there's a new cable car model that is has glass floors and glass walls as well. So I might change one of my cable car lines to use that. What cable car line do I own on the server? I forgot. Oh, it's the Chang Chao one. The scenic cable car free thing. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. But yeah, it'll be really cool if I change that to use crystal plus cabins. Why don't I do it right now so that when we get there, the cable cars would have cycled through. Okay, what's the next station? Fei Fa Zhou Dou. Public illegal. <laughs> it means illegal gathering in Chinese. Hey, let me see. Uh, Enchanted cable car. Yeah, that's it. So right now they're using the crystal cabins, and this is the crystal plus cabins. Okay, cool. Changed it. It's that easy. 
撐不引爆。Next station, Orange Impatient Island. I don't know what that pun was. And 非法聚賭 and 撐不引爆。I don't know. I only understood the first one. Do not know. Well, this is a really beautiful line, though. Oh, is that a shipwreck down there, floating in the air? <laughs> so this goes to Dry Plains Cable Car. Okay, well, I'm just gonna enjoy the ride. We're like cutting through the clouds as well. The next one, Peach Sake Island. I understand this Chinese though. This is Tou Zhao Mu Dou. Tou Zhao means escape, and the whole phrase means you can't escape. Tou Zhao Mu Dou. But Tou. Tou is peach. Zhao is wine. So Peach Sake Island. <laughs> Wow, you literally can't see anything. We're like in the clouds, and we're out of render distance from the ground below. Wow, literally cannot see anything, except the cable cars on the other side. Talk about fear of heights. <laughs> you literally can't see anything. Isn't that crazy? Oh, okay, we're approaching these islands. Okay, if this was real life, like I can't see anything, it's all white, except for the cable cars on the other side, I would also be pretty scared. I think the Ngongping 360 in Hong Kong, which these cable car models were based on by the way, parts of that route go so high up in the sky that sometimes you're in the clouds as well, so you might get that effect too. What's the next one? Hong Sam Zhong, Hong Sam Central. I don't know if that's a pun for anything as well. <laughs> wow. This is really scenic. It's even more scenic than my enchanted scenic cable car. I see the light rail down there. Just a glimpse of the light rail. These clouds are covering so I can't really see. Ah, there. It'd be really cool if they used uh, Crystal Plus cabins. Oh, that light rail also has pantographs. Nice. Or like the catenaries. Oh, Eric's here. Hi, Eric. NG Man here. OTS is here. I just took your line when playing Race to Cyan Heights. Okay, now we can see the light rail a bit better. That station looks nice with the orange roof. What station is that? Deer Hollow. Wow. And this is Hong Sam East. Is this the end of the line? Oh, there's a beacon here. <laughs> I'm like saying so many things at the same time. Wow, this is here. Oh, wow, that's here. Wow, beacon. Wow, light rail. Oh, forest. Look at these trees with no leaves. Oh, tunnel. Look at these concrete terracotta mix with jungle. It looks like they world edited these trees out. Look at the floating vines and stuff. <laughs> nope, this is not the light rail interchange. We have one more stop to Diamond North where we can get the light rail back again. Okay, even this part is cool, even though we're not like in the middle of the air. This part going over the forest is also pretty enjoyable. Oh, we were boosted by, oh, what's that? Hong Sam West, that's where you can get light rail. But yeah, as I was saying, even though we're not like in the middle of the sky, it's still an enjoyable ride. Oh, I just noticed that inbound cable car is higher than this one. It's an interesting design. See, it's two different levels. I wonder why this design is purposely like that. And we're so far from... 
Wow. It reminds me a little bit of Monument Valley, the way this is set up. And now these cable car lines are split apart like this. I don't think anywhere in real life has this kind of setup. Oh, I see why. It's Oh, it's because it's a big like switch over. And this is done like this to split the cable car for a cross-platform interchange with the light rail. That's very creative. Well done. That's a phase one light rail with the pantograph. Okay, that's the 761 again. So this one goes to Tempest. Am I going to Tempest or should I? Oh, this is the last stop. So I guess I kind of have to. So we'll go through Hongsam Boundary Side Bay Ferry Pier and then backtrack all the way to Tempest. Seems like there's more stuff there too. So the 761 terminates here, but I feel like that other light rail route. Oh, this one goes to Hangfan Liu. Oh, wait, let me look at the map. Oh, I see Diamond North and then this. Oh, it goes that way. Ah, oh, it makes so much sense. And then this ferry terminal, where does this ferry go? Callus Ferry. Oh, it's just a shortcut between these two, but if I take this yellow one, then it goes on the west to Hangfan Liu Airport. And then the cable cars loop around here and come down. That's the siding. Wow, I'm really impressed. Look at all this. Yeah, that's the 720. Yeah, 720 is this line. Sand Farm is one station. That is pretty cool. It's the literal translation of Satin, which is the Chinese. Satin is a station in Hong Kong called Sha Tin, but this is the literal translation Sand Farm. Alright, the train is coming soon, so I might as well just take a ride down there. And this video is also getting quite long, so I might also end it soon after I visit Sha Tin Station, or I mean Sand Farm. And some of these other stations. Nan Ha. Galaxy. Sunfat and Sansek Wan. Sunfat and Sanshek Wan are based on real station names in Hong Kong too, for the light rail. But Sha Tin is the East Rail Line station. Okay, let's wait for the train. Looks like OTS is here to join us. Hello, OTS. I still think this cable car setup is really unique. Oh wow, the train's pulled in at almost the same time. This is Route 720 to Airport North. Oh, we're racing that other train. Are we going the same way? I guess different way. Because that one goes back east. Yeah, this train is supposed to go east, right? Oh, well now we're going faster than them. <laughs> this is a really cool effect though, when they're going... S oh, we're going same speed actually. But yeah. Oh, that train goes to the depot, okay. Cool. Now we're going southwest. South and then west. This is Nanha Station. Ginga. Jinja. Ginger. I like these station styles more, more than the older court style. Yeah, look at that. This is really cool. With the MTR station decoration, ticket machines, and the stair banisters as well. So they're basically all the same station design, except that the fences and the pillars 
are using different blocks for each station. So I, I do prefer this station design more because it's not just like copy and paste court stations. So well done with this line. I think this is a Tingli pad operated light rail, right? I don't know. So which means Lily and Tea Powder are working together on this. So these stations are pretty close together. And is that a road up there? Oh, this is Sha Tin. I thought it was designed in the style of the East Rail Line station. Maybe it's just the name. Okay, but I said I was going to get off here, so I am. Beep. Okay, one dollar. Let's see what's here. They do have farms. Nice. And there aren't additional platforms, are there? No. I always thought there was something else here, but I guess not. Maybe I remembered wrong. But that's okay. This is a nice village, though. Yeah, makes me feel like I need to work on my resort more because of all the cool things that we've seen today. What else is on this line? Oh, the ferry terminal. Let me go check that out real quick. Pretend I didn't get off the train. We we might even catch the train in front of us. Okay, this is the ferry terminal. And if we exit here, we can follow these signs to... Oh wow. This is like a modern ferry design, nice. But I don't know which ones have service right now. This one goes to side bay. Okay, yeah, this is the only one we saw on the map. There's a boat here right now. Where's tea powder? Tea powder teleported to me, but I don't see her. Oh, am I hitting all these lily pads? <laughs> the hitbox does affect me. One thing that people have always been suggesting is that I make proper boat models. So I was thinking of making the Star Ferry. That'd be a cool one to do. But probably not in a while because I've been pretty busy with the rewrite of the mod as well as other stuff in real life such as work and church stuff and spending time with my wife stuff like that oh if you want to see my wife play minecraft again let me know in the description i mean in the comments <laughs> she hasn't been on for a while she's been helping me with the social media actually so if i don't forget i'm gonna put the social media links down in the description of the video so please go check it out we've just started an instagram and facebook and we've revived the twitter account for the mod so please go check it out and if you want to submit some screenshots there is also a way to do that as well there's a link where you can submit your best screenshots of this mod and if we like it, we will post it. Alright, so I feel like this is a good stopping point for now. We've taken so many modes of transportation in this video, I guess except airplanes. We've taken trains, boats, cable cars, even ski lifts. That's crazy. So, thank you so much for watching this episode. We checked out the ski resort. Oh, the peak tram as well, that was cool. The ski resort is the main highlight of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what I should see next or what I should do next on the server. Wow, we're like really going into the middle of the forest jungle right now. There's a temple there too. Please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. Like this video and let me know what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. I'll get to the station first I guess but thank you all for watching 
This is a cool view, by the way. This bridge here. I think it means that we're getting close. Oh look! Origin Railway. Hello. Alright, we're here. Time to end the video. And goodbye! See you next time.